Hey, 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 Coach Greg here at Spell Training, and if your hip flexors are sore, maybe they're stiff, maybe you've been sitting too long, then I have four sitting exercises that are gonna help soothe them. Let's do it. Now I know that seems counterproductive if you've been sitting too long to continue to sit for these exercises, but I definitely recommend standing up, stretching, and that kind of stuff. But sometimes if you're sitting at your desk or wherever too long, it's like you don't have to just stay in a rigid position. These are gonna be four exercises that you can do while you're working that will really help alleviate any pain that you're feeling. So let's get started with our first exercise. All right, we're gonna start with some knee to chest stretches while you are sitting down. So we're gonna put 30 seconds on the clock and here we go. All we're gonna do is grab our knee, pull it to our chest, make sure you're breathing, let it go after a few seconds, and then do the next one. Now you don't have to be super like tough and forcing your body into positions. We wanna be very gentle on our body. The goal is just to loosen things up, get that blood flow going. There you go, make sure you're breathing. Just like that. If you want, you can just hold this for the whole duration, but I just like to move things around. Again, if you've been sitting all day, then you want to get some extra movement going. A couple more seconds, three, two, and one, great job. All right, next we have a seated hamstring stretch. We're gonna alternate legs just like we did with the knee stretches. What we're gonna do is one leg is gonna be in a 90 degree angle with the foot flat on the ground. The other leg is going to be straight, heel on the ground, so sit up nice and tall, and we are going to focus on Leaning forward, you're gonna feel the stretch all up in your calf, your hamstring here. And then we're gonna switch just like this. So we'll do this back and forth for 30 seconds. And here we go. Just like this, sit at the edge of your bench, your chair, your bed, wherever you are. Switch sides. And you're gonna feel the release all from your calf to your hamstrings, even back to your glutes. Again, we're just trying to be very gentle on the body. You don't gotta force anything. Again, if you wanna hold for 15 seconds each side, feel free to do that as well. A couple more seconds. Honestly, this feels pretty good. Here we go, one more this side. And done, great job. Next, we have the figure four stretch. Here we go, 30 seconds, and let's do it. All we're gonna do is cross our ankle over onto our knee, and we try to push our opposite knee down as you sit upright. Uh, and honestly, that enough, just this motion here, makes you breathing, you're gonna feel it all up in here, almost up to your quad, your hamstring, to your glute, and to your hip flexor. We're gonna do 15 seconds this side and switch to the next. And you can clearly see which side I'm more flexible on, <laughs> just like this. But a good rule of thumb is start with your weaker side first, then you can finish strong. Makes you look cool. <laughs> Couple more seconds here, three, Two, one, and release. All right, last stretch. You're gonna have to stand up for this. I know you said it was supposed to be sitting. I know, but we are just going to get one knee on uh, to your stool, your bench, wherever you are, and we're going to step forward with our opposite leg. Now the goal is we really want to stand upright, and you're gonna feel the stretch in your quads and in your hip flexors. So we're gonna do 15 seconds one side, 15 seconds the next. Here we go. Really reach and then come forward and stand up nice and tall. The goal is to tuck your tailbone, try not to be out here, try to tuck that tailbone under and you're really gonna feel that stretch in here. Then you can lean slightly onto this front leg, and bend your knee, we're gonna switch sides in three, two, one, switch. Here we go, try not to kick my timer off the ground. Here we go, forward, again, tuck that tailbone. And this is all you really need to do right here. This stretch, boom, you're gonna feel it. Hip flexor is going to open up. It's gonna feel amazing. Just like this. Couple more seconds. Three, two, one, and release. Shake it out. That feels amazing. Grab some water, because we're gonna get started with set number two in just a second. Alrighty, so now that you know these four sitting exercises to help soothe these bad boys, we're gonna get started with set number two right now. Knee to chest stretches in three, two, one, let's do it.
Hamstring stretch in three, two, one, go. Figure four stretch in three, two, one, go. Switch in three, two, one, go. Chair hip flexor stretch in three, two, one, go. All right, switch in three, two, one, switch. Great job, second set done, some water, and then let's finish strong with our last set. All right, you know exactly what you're doing, less talking on my part, more doing on yours. Let's just finish strong in three, two, one. Knee to chest stretches in three, two, one, let's do it. Hamstring stretch in three, two, one, go. Figure four stretch in three, two, one, go. Switch in three, two, one, go. Chair hip flexor stretch in three, two, one, go. All right, switch in three, two, one, switch.
There you have it. That was four sitting exercises to help soothe your hip flexors. I hope your hip flexors are soothed. <laughs> and if they are, please comment below and let us know. I don't know about you, but I feel so much better now. I did a huge leg workout earlier today. So now my calves, my uh, thighs, my hamstrings, my hip flexors feel so, so good. So if you like these type of videos, go ahead and click the notification bell to stay on top of any new videos dropping. But without further ado, I'm Coach Greg. I will see you in the next video. Stay strong, my friend. Peace.